Well, YouTube, today, the second to last story in Louis L'Amour's Volume 1 Frontier Stories. I said that wrong. Doesn't matter. I'm tired. We're going, we're going to do our best. We're just going to give up the old junior college try tonight. <clears throat> the last story is only like five or six pages long, so I thought we could we could read it together. And then tomorrow um, will be the finale, Wrestler's Roundup, which is almost more of a novella because it's over 100 pages. So, shall we, shall we do this? Let me get a quick drink of some Cherry Vanilla Zero Sugar Coca-Cola. The moon of the trees broken by snow. Like I said, it's not very long. So let's, hopefully it's a banger. Hopefully we read this together and it's a banger. Cold blew the winds along the canyon. The canyon. Oh, we're off to a good start. Moaning and the cedars whining softly where the sagebrush grew. Their fire was small and they huddled close. The firelight playing shadows, games on the walls, the walls their grandfather's fathers built when he moved from the pit house atop the mesa to the great arch of the shallow cave. We must go, the boys said. There is no more wood for burning, and the strength is gone from the earth. Our crops are thin. And when the snow have gone, the wild ones will come again, and they will kill us. We're off to a good start. It is so," said Mother. Agreed. His mother agreed. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna add random words whenever I feel like it. <clears throat> it is so," his mother agreed. One by one, the others fled, and we are not enough to keep open the ditches that water our fields nor to defend against the wild ones the dogs in there whining where will we go small sister asked they avoided looking at each other their eyes hollow with fear for they knew not where to go drought lay heavy upon the land and from north south east west others had come seeking no place seeming better than another was it not better to die here where they had lived the boy was gaunt from for each day he hunted farther afield and each day found less to hunt small sister and his mother gathered brush or looted timber from the abandoned dwellings to keep their fires alive alight um <clears throat> this the old one stirred and mumbled. In my sleep, I saw them, he muttered. Strange men sitting upon strange beasts. He is old, their mother said. He, his thoughts wander. How old he was, they did not know. He had come out of the desert and they cared for him. None knew what matter, what manner of man he was but it was said he talked to gods and they with him i don't know if this book is, or this i don't know if this story is just written weird or it's just me really struggling to read tonight which either one it's probably the second what am i kidding louis lamore was a master a strange man he said with robes that glisten how many men the boy asked without without curiosity but because he knew that to live an old one must be listened to and questioned sometimes three the old one said no more firelight flickered on the parchment of his ancient face sitting upon beast he repeated sitting upon beast what's the what manner of beast and why sit upon them the boy went to the corner for an old timber a hundred years ago it had been a tree that part of the roof now it was fuel they must leave or die and it was better to die while doing than sitting 
There was no corn left in the storage place. Even the rats were gone. When the light comes, the boy says, we will go. What of the old one? His limbs are weak. So are we all, the boy said. Let him walk as far as he may. They followed the path, the old one said, a path where they where there was no path. They went where the light was. On the third day, their water was gone, but the boy knew of a, of a seep. At the foot of the rocks, he dug into the sand. When the sand grew damp, they held it against their brows, liking the coolness. Water seeped into the hollow, and one by one they drank. They ate of the ate of the corn they carried, but some they must not eat. It would be the seed for planting in the new place if they found it. During the night snow fell, they filled a water sack made of skin and started on. With the morning the snow vanished. Here and there a few seeds still clung to the brush. Under the, an ironwood, they rested, picking seeds from the ground. They could not; they could be parched and eaten or ground into pinole. I don't know what pinole is, but apparently it's a seed of an ironwood or something. As they walked, they did not cease from looking. An old one found many seeds, although his eyes were bad. Where do we go, small sister asked. We go. The boy replied, but inside he felt cold shivers, as when one eats too much of the prickly pear fruit. They out there doing some peyote, hmm? He did not know where they went. He did not know where they went, and he was much afraid. Who went? He did not know who where. I think, I think this story is kind of funky. On the ninth day, they ate the last of their corn, but for that which must be kept for seed. Twice the boy snared ground squirrels, and three times he killed lizards. One day they stopped at a spring, gathering roots of a kind of wild potato. And that the people to the south called Ikoth. His mother... And the old one dug them from the flats below the spring. Day after day they plodded onward and grew cold. But let me redo that. I, I did that backwards here. My, my dyslexia is really acting up. Day after day they plodded onward and the cold grew. It snowed again and this time it did not go away. The old one lagged farther and farther behind, and each day it took him longer to reach the fire. The boy did not meet their eyes now, for they looked to him, and he had nothing to promise. There was a path of light, the old one muttered. They followed the path. He drew his worn blanket from about the... Oh, my Lord. The dyslexia is real. The dyslexia is real. He drew his worn blanket about his thin shoulders. It is the moon of the limbs of trees broken by snow, he whispered. That was the time. What time, old one? The boy tried to be patient. The time of the path. They followed the path. He have seen no path, old one. The path was light. No man had walked where the path lay. They, Why then did they follow? Were they fools? They followed the path because they heard and they believed. Heard what? Believed in what? I do not know. It came while I slept. I do not know what they believed, only that they believed. I believe we are lost, my sister said. The mother looked to the boy. He he was the man. Although but a small man and alone, in the morning we will go on, he said. The old one arose. Come, he said, wondering. The boy followed. 
out in the night they went stopping where no firelight was the old one lifted his staff and, well is this like gandalf or something he said there lies the path are we in mordor or is it mordor i don't know i never read lord of the rings so you know i know oh maybe eventually maybe next year i should read it sometime okay we have three and a half pages we can do this are you still if you're still watching comment down below and i think you're only watching because how badly this is going <sighs> okay <clears throat> i see no path the boy said only a star the star is the path the old one said if you believe in love it was a bright star hanging in the southern sky the boy looked at it and his lips trembled. He had but twelve summers, yet he was the man, and he was afraid. The star is the path, the old man said. Okay, just keep repeating yourself now. How can one believe in a star, the boy protested. You do not have to believe in the star. They traveled for a reason. We travel for another, but you can believe in yourself. Believe in the good you would do. The men of the star were long ago, and not like us. It was only a dream. The old one went back to the fire and left the boy alone. They trusted him, and he did not trust himself. They had no faith. They had faith. He had none. He led them into a wilderness to what? To die, duh. I mean, they can always eat the old man, right? If they get hungry enough. Sacrifices must be made. He had wondered, hoping he had found nothing. He had wondered, hoping he had found nothing. He had longed, for the longing was empty. He found no place for planting, no food, nor fuel. There's some, like, some tongue twisters in here, too. He looked again. Was not that one star brighter than all the rest, or did he only believe it so? The old one had said, follow the star. That's not what he said, but we're going with it. He looked at the star, <laughs> then stepping back of the tall spear of the yucca. He looked across it at the star, then breaking off in another spear. He set it in a he set it in the sand and lined it up on the star so he would know the direction of the star when dawn came. Wow. Louis, this one's hard to read, man. To lead them, he must believe he would believe in the star. When morning came, they took up the pack. They took up their packs. Only the old one sat withdrawn and moving. It is enough, he said. I can go no farther. You will come. You taught me to have faith. You, too, must have it. Day followed day, and night followed night. Each night the boy lined up this, lined up his star with a peak, a tree, or a rock. On three of the days they had no food, and two of the days they were without water. This boy, he needs to get his stuff together. They broke the spines from cactus and sucked on the pulp from the thick leaves. Small sister's feet were swollen and flesh broken. It is, it is enough, his mother said. We can go no farther. They had come to a place where the cottonwoods grew. He dug a hole in the stream bed and found a little water. They soaked cottonwood leaves and bound them to small sister's feet. In the morning, he said, we will go on. I cannot, small sister said. Well, just leave them to die, boy. Obviously, they're struggling. So, you know, just, just go. Just leave them behind. They're being whiny little brats. I cannot, small sister said. With dead branches from the cottonwoods, he built a fire. They broiled the flesh of a terrapin, I don't know what a terrapin is, found on the desert. Little though there was, they shared it. 
The boy walked out in the darkness alone. He looked up and the star was there. All right, he said. When the light came, he shouldered his pack and they looked at him. He turned to go and one by one they followed. The old one was the last to rise. Now the land was broken by canyons. There was more cedar, occasionally a pinion. It snowed in the night and the ground was covered. So they found only those seeds that still hung on the dry pods. They were very few. Often they waited for the old one. He wa The walking was harder now and the boy's heart grew small within him. At last they stopped to rest and his mother looked at him. It is no use. I cannot go on. Oh my God, leave them already. Leave them. I would have left them three days ago. They are being annoying. They want to die. Leave them to die. Small sister said nothing, but we all know she can't go on. The old man. Um, um, ba, 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 ba. Oh, no, I lost where I was. Um, small sister and the old one looked at a long time. They were. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. All right. The old one was the last to rise. Now the villain broken canyons. Often they wait for the old one. Okay. Small sister said nothing, and the old one took a long time coming to where they waited. Do you stay then? The boy said, I will go on. There we go. If you do not come back, then you are better without me, he said. If I can, I will come. He ain't coming back. One of their sights, he sat down. Out of their sight, he sat down and put his head in his hands. He had failed them. The old one's medicine had failed. Yet, he knew he must try. Small, small though he was, he was the man. We got that. We got that like three pages ago. He walked on, his thoughts no longer clear. Once he fell, and again he caught himself on a rock before falling. He straightened, blinking, to clear his vision. On the sand before him was a tra track, the track of a deer. He walked on the saw other tracks. He walked on and saw other tracks. Those of a raccoon, and the raccoon liked water. I mean, who would have thought it? Not in two months had he seen the track of an animal. They led away down the canyon. What if they're walking away from the water spot, though? Then you're going in the wrong direction. He went out on the rocks and caught himself abruptly, almost falling over the rim. It was a limestone sink, and it was filled with water. He took up a stone and dropped it, and it hit the pool and sank it with deep, rich, satisfying sounds. The well was deep and wide, with a stream running from one side. He went around the rim and laid down flat to drink of the stream. Something stirred near him, and he looked up quickly. They were there his mother small sister and the old one he stood up very straight and he said this is our place we will stop here the boy killed a deer and they ate it the deer cried a horrible death as it was getting eaten alive because they didn't say that after they killed it they did anything to prepare it. So I'm just assuming that they ate it alive. Well, I guess they killed it, right? So I, I guess they like ate it. I'm over this story. The boy killed a deer and they ate it. He wiped his fingers on his buckskin leggings and said, those who sat upon the beast, what did they find following their star? A cave that smelled of animals, where a baby lay on dry grass. The baby's father and mother were there, and some other men wearing skins who stood by the boat head. Is this like a Jesus story or something? And the shining ones who sat upon the beast, they knelt before the baby and offered it gifts. It's a strange story, the boy said, and, the, and at another time I will listen to it again. Now we must think of planting. Whoo! 20 minutes. That was like a six page story. Oh my lord. I.
sorry, Louis Lamour's estate. The ghost of Louis Lamour, the memory of Louis Lamour. I butchered that one. The moon of the trees broken by snow. Um, silly story. Didn't like it. Probably my least favorite story in the in the collection. But this collection is so full of bangers. It's so gosh darn good. And I. I think there's two stories in here that I didn't care for. Out of like 34 or 35 or 30 something. There's a lot in here. I think there's 34. And there's only two stories I didn't like. Well, we still have one more. We still have, uh, was it Rustler's Roundup? Which is more of a novella. But I, I'm probably going to like it. Let's just be real. Um, the, the odds are in my favor. So. That's it for this one, peeps. Let me know down below how bad did I do there. You don't have to be nice. No. You can you can lay it on me. I, I butchered it. I hope that it was at least entertaining and you got a good laugh at me. Other than that, I'm going to bed because I just need I shouldn't have even done that. I shouldn't have even done this video tonight. I'm dead tired. But here we are. Cheers, peeps.